guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a long time about a year and a half i'm back i'll be back with new diys new fashion tutorials new vlogs i'll be showing you how to make garments like this another video for you and i hope you enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel <laughs> So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this panel skirt and if you'd like to see how it's made then keep watching. Okay so the first thing you're going to do is fold the fabric and then you're going to measure along the folded edge and depending on how long you'd like the skirt to be this is how long you're going to measure. So my waist to knee length is 20 inches. So you're going to measure 20 inches. Next is the part where you'll need your calculations. And I'm making nine panels in total. So what you'll have to do is take your waist measurement and divide this by nine. My waist is 26. So what I'll do is divide 26 by nine, which will give me 2.8. And because we're cutting on the fold, you'll then divide this by 2 which will give me 1.4 so I'm going to measure 1.4 so we want the upper part of the skirt panel to be quite narrow so it's fitted around the waist next is the width of the panel and for mine I'm going to make this 22 inches and because again we're cutting on the fold I'll mark 11 inches and then next, you're going to pivot the measuring tape about two or three inches above the point that you've just marked. And then just mark this point. We want each of the cone shapes to have a curve at the side. So having the curve will give more of the effect of the flare shape for the skirt. So now I'm marking all my points and then I'm gonna cut everything out. And now as you open it up, you'll see the cone shape. And I'm going to use this piece we've cut to cut out my remaining eight pieces. So what you'll do is pin this piece onto your fabric and then cut around it. Okay, now you want the fabric to be stiff so that it holds the shape in place. So what you're going to do is place your fabric onto the interfacing and you'll place each piece onto the interfacing one by one and then iron this on. Once you've ironed and cut out your pieces on the interfacing, you're now going to transfer these onto your cotton fabric for the lining. So what you'll do again is pin these in place and then cut around them. Once these are all cut out, you're going to sew your lining onto your fabric and interfacing piece 
So what you'll do is take your pins out and then place the lining onto your fabric right side to right side. And then you're going to pin along the hem. So this is where you'll sew. So pin along the bottom of the hem and then sew along this edge. Once you've sewn your lining onto your fabric, you'll now turn this inside out so that you'll have a nice clean edge to the hem. And you can either sew back onto the edge again or you can iron this in place. I usually like to iron it just to keep it in place. Now you're going to join all your pieces together along the side seam. So place your right sides facing and then pin together ready to sew. Once you've pinned and sewn all your pieces together, leave the back open as this is where your zip will go. And now you're done. So once you've done this, you can either make it into a skirt or attach it to a top to make it into a dress. Mine was joined to a top and I made a dress from it. And to make it even fancier, I then added some beaded lace embellishment by hand and sew this on by hand. <laughs> 